to business news, Barclays' balance sheet detox continues. Now, in an effort to ease investors' concerns over toxic assets, the British bank plans to spin off a £4 billion portfolio. Just moments ago, editors at the Financial Times decided what will go into tomorrow's edition. We partnered with them to bring you Lex on Bloomberg so you can get a sneak peek at what will be in the papers tomorrow. Richard Stoven Bradford joins us now from London. And Richard, I know you're writing about Barclays. Tell us what our viewers will read in the FT tomorrow. Good morning, Scarlett. That's right. We believe that Barclays is poised to sell a further £4 billion worth of assets, toxic or otherwise, um, to investors, and that would be about $6.4 billion US dollars. Last month, it sold about $12.3 billion of dollars of assets to investors who happened to be led by its own staffers, mortgage, mortgage traders, who moved off to set a company, and Barclays financed that company. This time, we believe that they're unlikely to follow the same route, and actually, they'll sell it outright to a third party. Now, how would an asset disposal like this help the bank? Two ways, really. One is that Barclays needs to reassure investors that there are no or there are fewer skeletons still lurking in its cupboards. The other is that by reducing its overall risk weighted assets, it actually enhances its capital levels. And at the moment, its capital levels, after it sold its asset manager, Barclays Global Investors, earlier this year, stand at about 8.8 percent at the core tier one level or nearly 12 percent at the overall tier one tier level, which is actually higher than. HSBC. But I think there's no harm in having too much capital in these markets. Now, you've been talking to a lot of people in the know. Any sense of how likely this would be? It's still not clear. This is something that is very much on the list of possible to-dos at Barclays. Um, they haven't confirmed whether it will or won't happen. What we, what we do know, though, is that they are determined to show that they can give a clean bill of health to investors. What else is on Barclays' to-do list? Other things on Barclays' to-do list will probably include smaller asset sales on the margin, but the biggest one has really been done, and that was Barclays Global Investors earlier this year. The Barclays Global Investors asset management deal probably enhanced their capital by about two percentage points. And the, this deal, although only £4 billion, will probably against uh, 400 billion of risk weighted assets not be so significant. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. Richard Stoven Bradford of the Financial Times in London.